Hey everybody, how we doing today? My name is Michael. I'm Dion. Hey, welcome to Misfits Adventures. Guess what? It's Wednesday. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to go out and do something today, like always. And we always start this off the same stupid way, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, we're going to go someplace, but you know what to do first. Hey, why don't you go down below and uh, give us a like. And then after that, uh, you can push that subscribe button. And then if you push the bell and click that, you're going to get notifications every time we have a video. All right? So, uh, hey, we'll be right back. Good morning. Uh, we got up a little early today, and uh, the weather's really super nice. It's about, when we got up, I think it was like 50, 48 to 52 degrees. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. And it's supposed to be maybe in the 80s today, 79 to 80 degrees. Uh, we are going to go, and we're going to go look for uh, some autumn leaves. <laughs> uh, people have told us up, up in the mountains that the leaves are starting to change and look really pretty. So before we go, that's something that we're going to have to do because we only have three more weekends here. Uh, three more weeks. So we got things to do in between. We got to get the camper ready like we said last time and all that good stuff. So yeah. So hey guys, we really want to thank you for watching our videos. Uh, more and more people are watching and we really appreciate that. And uh, just keep on watching, guys. We're going to keep making videos. When we do leave here, um, hopefully we're not going to have a pause in between. Hopefully I can get some videos of doing things around here and get those out for you. And then when we hit the road, we'll have all the uh, going back to wherever we're going to go to, which is <laughs> Southern California again near Joshua Tree and Palm Springs area. So, yeah. So thank you very much for watching us. I really, really appreciate it. So does she. And so does Max. And speaking of Max, we've thought about taking him today, but he gets underneath our feet and I, I kind of brought the drone. It didn't work the last time. I haven't tried it again. I'm gonna see if I can get it to work today. If not, we're just gonna look at some beautiful leaves and that's about it, right? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna get in the truckster and uh, yeah, we're gonna go head off to uh, wherever we're gonna go look. I don't want to go all the way up to Silverton. I don't want to go all the way up to Telluride, but I know there were some beautiful meadows and places like that uh, that we could actually, you know, stop and look at and stuff. So, right? Yeah. All right. All right, guys. If you'd like to go with us? Come on. We appreciate you coming. All right, guys. We just started up uh, the truckster, and we are on our way. Uh, we're going to head towards Cortez, and uh, we're going to go into Mancos, Bay Bacos. And then we're gonna go north on 145. And uh, we're gonna just go up for, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, a couple, 20 miles or so. And then that's where all the leaves should be changing. Uh, the higher up you go, uh, they say from Silverton, the next drive from that going up in north is Ure. And Ure has a whole bunch of leaves that changed already, like everything's changed. But all the way down, they said it's it's beautiful. So, all right, next stop, you're gonna look at some beauty, I guess, huh? So we just turned on to 145. I thought we were on 145. That was 184. And uh, yeah, so we're coming uh, into the town of Dolores where we stopped before, before we went up to Telluride. Cute little town that has the park over there on the uh, right of you guys. Yeah, really nice area. This is where we thought a lot of the trees would be changing, but not so much yet, huh? So I guess we're going to have to keep going and we'll go past Dolores and up into the mountains and uh, maybe, uh, maybe almost to Telluride. We'll see what happens.
little cute little town, I tell you. So we just pulled off the uh, highway here just for a few minutes to take some pictures. Just want you to see, this is the uh, Dolores River. Looking down, we're just on the side of the road at the 18 mile mark. This is beautiful, huh? This is the Dolores River. You can see all the leaves starting to change over there. There's some reds and there's some lots of yellows. It's really pretty. Yeah, we're gonna go back to the truckster. It's right over here. Uh, we were just taking some pictures, that's all. We are on the highway, like literally on the highway. As you can see, it's really pretty. You can see all back in there. show you this clearing over here it's really pretty pretty well isn't that nice huh very very pretty okay let's go uh we're gonna go up the river and uh we'll probably go another i don't know 15 20 miles to see what's up that way get off this highway come on dion let's go coming nice huh all right let's go one more look huh All right, so we just drove up probably, I don't know, maybe two miles? Yeah. Kind of kind of went around the corner, and we were looking for the, where the river went. The river is over that side of us, but uh, we wanted to show you this little park area we passed by last time. It's Twin Lakes, or Twin Spruce Fishing Lease, State Wildlife Area. And uh, yeah, so we're, we're allowed to come here, and uh, you got the pro can't have fires, can't camp out here. No glass containers. Boating is prohibited except the floating tubes or uh, craft propelled by hand. So you can kayak out here. You could do anything else, no motors. This is a, a reservoir for them. That's pretty. And I think we can go through here, huh? Or can we? Yeah, it's a hole in the gate over here. What do you think, Dion? This is cool. Yeah, this is pretty. Glad we stopped. All right, let's go. Go through this uh, 
little gate. Oh, here are the leaves. Listen to the leaves. We're right off the highway, guys. So if you hear traffic, that's what it is. But listen to this real quietly. Listen. Ah, oh, they're all rustling in the wind. This is so beautiful. Some people over there fishing. Oh, so beautiful, huh? Look at the trees over here. Yeah, so autumn is here. Pretty much. We're both getting a little restless to uh, move on down the road to our new uh, jobs or whatever we're gonna be doing for the next six months until we come back up here into Colorado. This is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Across the lake, we've got a barn over there. Just looking for this, uh, this fall color stuff and it's really pretty. I mean, if you look at that right there, look. Look at it blowing in the wind. apples guys I don't know what are they strawberries strawberries tomatoes so they're little crab apples that's what I say oh you're getting ones that aren't even ripe yet they got to be like really red I think I'm not mistaken Look, look at these way up here. So we noticed that they were digging out more that way. So I think what this is, this is just holding ponds for the water. They can keep it going all the way down. And uh, in case there's fires or whatever, they have ample water to be sucking out of these reservoirs to uh, put out fires. So, and fish and birds and critters and you know people could fish in here and recreational whatever but it's good to always have a lot of water on hand in case you have a big forest fire I'm sure look at that look at those trees right there that's pretty oh my look at the tops see the tops of that one I think there's more gravel in uh, Colorado than I've ever seen in my whole entire life. <laughs> Everywhere we go, there's always gravel on the roads and stuff. So, uh, yeah, this is really pretty. We're gonna go up a little further, I guess, and check it out. Uh, just looking for them fall colors like that, guys. What's better than having a lake with the fall colors or a river? see what's up a little further. Hopefully more and more of this. So we pulled off again. This is a National Forest Road. And this is a Welcome to the Roaring Forks Barrow Creek. Uh, Barlow Creek. Autumn uh, snowmobile area with over 60 miles of snowmobile trails on the San Juan National Forest. What fun that would be. Kept, all we kept seeing is, you know, pretties on the side of the road, but we want to kind of hike a little bit. I want to fly the drone, but I don't think the drone is going to fly, so we're not even going to really bother with it right now. Uh, but I did bring it and charged it and everything. The last time I used it, it did not work. So, I don't know. Oh, uh, we got a little river over here. Let's go over here and check this out. And then there's some pasture land up that way. So, yeah. So one lane bridge, barely fit the truck.
going downstream. What do you think? Pretty nice, huh? Look at the Red Rocks of Colorado over there. So we're only about 60 miles away from the house right now. So we're really not that far away. Uh, we didn't bring Max because we knew we would be up in state park uh, land and you can't bring animals into state park land anymore. So uh, yeah, we're here. And I would love to fly the drone. I really would if we could find a place so they don't have all these trees. I just don't trust it in the trees because I haven't driven, drove, I haven't flown it for such a long time that uh, not that I don't know how to fly it, it's just it might act up or something and yeah, I don't want to lose it in one of these big old trees. So here we are guys, very pretty. So I guess we'll go ahead and get back in the truck. Do you want to go up a little further and see? I, I, I really, if we can fly the drone, that would be fun. Uh, we, I just want a big area that I can fly it, not with a bunch of trees around me, like you keep saying, but a parking slot. I can't be on the side of the road because that wouldn't be safe with me or the drone or anybody else. So yeah, so we're not going to do it that way. So we'll go over here, get in the truck, and maybe find some place. We'll see what's up the road. We'll go up a little further. We pulled off on this little uh, turnoff here that we've been hoping for. There is some aspen trees or some trees that are changing right in front of us. Um, also, we got a little river, a little uh, stream next to us, so we can go look at that. I'm going to see if I can get the drone out and see if it will fly, see if it connects. If it doesn't connect, we'll put it back in and we'll walk around here and check everything out. All right.
That's right guys, like I said, we pulled in here. I did get to fly the drone, so you got some pretty shots of some water behind me and all these little aspen trees and all these other trees that are just starting to turn up here. Uh, I don't think we're going to go any further than we are right now. Um, so I think it's like 45 minutes to an hour to get back to get up to Telluride. It's probably an hour to get home from here, so I think we're just going to head off. It's already 2.30. I don't like driving down the mountain uh, in the dark or at sunset kind of like because all these uh, all these varmints start to come out and start crossing the road trying to play suicide or something. I don't know, but they do that all the time here. So they, they, they constantly jump out in front of you. So a guy told us on the way uh, home from Silverton the other night, he stopped and saw five different uh, deer and one elk. Yeah. So that's not too good. We don't want to get hit. No, I don't want to kill a deer or an elk. So, we're here in this beautiful park, and uh, I think we're gonna call it quits and head on home. I'll let you see what it looks like here. Isn't that pretty? There's the little stream down there. Yep, see the stream? All right, so we will uh, be wrapping this up. We will see you next week uh, on a brand new episode. So uh, please do me a big favor and kind of go down below and give us that big like. And then you can uh, push the button and subscribe. And then after that, go ahead and uh, ring the bell. That way you'll get notifications every week that we have a video out, okay? Uh, join her on her blog. <laughs> Dion's blog is on MisfitsAdventures.com. Uh, go check that out. We also have um, on their Patreon, and we also have a bunch of pictures and everything else. Uh, Patreon is to help us uh, and helps us grow. All this costs money, so if you donate every every week or um, every week, every month, three dollars or, or six dollars or the sixteen dollars, we can pay for some of the things that we do uh, for our music and for all our editing software and all that stuff. So go check out Patreon. This is what it is. This is what it's for. And then we do have three tiers to choose from. So go ahead and check that out. And guys, well, we're gonna call it quits for today. Uh, we're gonna drive on home and we will see you next week on Misfits Adventures. You guys, thank you very much for watching our videos. Thank you for sticking with us. Uh, I hope this turns into a good video. I'm gonna go home and try to figure this all out. Uh, lots of driving today, not much uh, looking at trees or hiking because we couldn't find any place to do that at. But it's okay. We're, we're, uh, we're seeing this for the first time in years and years because <laughs> I haven't seen leaves change for a while. All right. You guys be good, be kind, and we will see you next week. Say goodbye, hon. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.